What is up biker bros? This is Nathan from the Gen Z Biker Blog and I am here today not on my bike but actually in my basement with a package that just arrived. This is a pretty special opportunity for me. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing video of Quinn Designs Spitfire Nero. For those of you that are not familiar with Quinn Designs, they're a slightly newer helmet manufacturer, more of a boutique kind of helmet manufacturer that is doing some really great things. Their bread and butter is in fact carbon fiber Kevlar lined helmets, but today we're going to be looking at their Spitfire Nero, which is kind of their entry level full faced helmet. Um, and I'm super excited to take a look at it. I have not seen this helmet yet, so let's get into it. I already pulled uh, the tape off of the top, so let's take a look. So. Right off the bat, you kind of notice the extra effort that Quinn puts into their product. So it's not just a regular cardboard box. You've got a designed cardboard box with a bunch of motorcycles, helmets, gloves, whatever on the, on the package. Once you open up your packing cardboard box, you are going to find another box that holds the helmet, very similar kind of designs. You're going to see those motorcycles, the engines, the helmets, the gloves on there, as well as the Quinn logo. You are going to find, okay, so they actually did, it looks like, send me. Now this doesn't come with the helmet typically, I don't think, but this is their tinted visor, so that's really cool that they sent me that. And, oh, looks like they also sent some sort of a gift for me. Um, it's a, that's kind of cool. So it's a Quinn leather key ring, which is awesome. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Quinn. You've got a helmet sock. Mine kind of just fell out right there. And then, yeah, so... The helmet looks absolutely awesome. We'll put that other box back there. And then inside, it looks like you've got some wires and some other padding. I'll put that over there. But now, let's kind of give you a rundown of this helmet. So as I said, this is the Spitfire Nero helmet. This is their entry-level helmet within Quinn's current product offerings. Um, it retails at $399. I typically, myself, wear a showy RF-1200. I wear a medium. This is a large. We will kind of check out the differences in sizing shortly here. But first, I kind of want to show you some of the vents and features about the helmet. So to start off, you've got two vents here it's just two position or a single position vent to open and close open and close then your visor looks like it's a three position visor so i don't know about you guys but when i ride i like to kind of have it just cracked open and it does look like that offers that here so yeah so you got about a fingers width um for the visor being cracked. Then the second position is about an inch and a half maybe. And then fully open, you know, it goes right over the brim. On top of those three visor positions, you also do have built-in sunglasses, which a lot of people love, so that goes down. And looks like it will fully pretty much cover your cheek line. So for those of you fair scanned riders out there, it will cover kind of a good majority of your face, it looks like. Um, the other thing that's really nice, the lever on that sunglasses kind of notch is, a it seems like it's big enough to where if you were wearing some heavier duty leather gloves or maybe some winter riding gloves, you would be able to kind of swipe that pretty easily. Um, it looks like there's some sort of maybe, yeah, it looks like there's like a lock or something on here. Yeah, so this is a lock and this is, does look like it's got some sort of quick release mechanism on the visor as well. I will go ahead and show you more details like that in my future video. 
um, where I discuss kind of the features of this helmet. On the top, you've got two vents on the top. The thing that I like about these is that they're very user-friendly if you're wearing gloves, which we all should be wearing gloves while we're riding. But um, you can simply tap that, it looks like, yep. And then it opens up that vent there, and there's a matching one on the side. So you've got four vents in total on this helmet. It is, for those of you that maybe can't tell, matte black with matte two white matte stripes and then yellow piping along those white stripes. From what I understand, the style of this helmet is kind of based off of the Spitfire Jets. Um, that's kind of where they got their inspiration from. But moving kind of even past that, the owner of Quinn Design um, he's got a very prestigious background. He actually went to the Cambridge School of Design in the UK and ultimately ended up working for Ferrari um, on the design team f for them. So you've got a lot of really great design elements on this helmet that I guess you could say have some design inspiration rooting back to uh, Ferrari. Then, what most of you are probably here for, on the left-hand side of the helmet, you do have your command center for your smart side of the helmet. So it looks like you've got a volume up, volume down, probably an on button, and then looks like this button uh, allows you to answer calls or whatnot. Now, moving to the inside of the helmet, you'll see here, I'm gonna give you a closer look, that you've got really, really high-end kind of quilted stitching throughout. You know, going back to the exterior of the helmet, the black, white, and yellow, you've got that same kind of pattern um, on the inside, the black and the yellow, really premium, soft padding. The thing that I like about it, actually, I'm just noticing, um, is it does have a ratchet system it looks like yeah ratchet as opposed to yep as opposed to your typical d-ring so let's see how strong this is um these are usually yeah that's not going anywhere um that's pretty cool i actually really like that feature because i mean i think we can all agree there's been a time for everyone where you're riding and all of a sudden you're like oh shit i forgot to strap up my helmet so it's pretty impossible without pulling over to fasten a normal d-ring but this i feel like you could very easily kind of do that with one hand um but yeah so for those of you kind of curious more on the smart tech kind of features of this helmet, I've got some notes here. I haven't looked at the instructions for the helmet yet, but based on what I've seen on the website in, and as also in talking to their marketing director, um, it's called the IntelliQuin Smart System. Now, this system features a crash detection and response system as well as an SOS beacon and then on top of that um, it's obviously Bluetooth capable with 4.0 invisible integration truth be told I have no clue what 4.0 invisible integration means but I will cover that in one of my later videos when I talk about the specific smart features on this helmet um, it does have a lithium battery, which is capable of six to eight hours of continuous use. For example, if you were playing music or doing a bunch of phone calls for six to eight hours straight, that's how much battery life you're going to have. Now, as I said at the start of the video, Quinn is really kind of known for their carbon fiber helmets. They're carbon fiber and Kevlar lined. This, on the other hand, is their entry level helmet. And although it's still equipped with the smart technology, they save on price and make it more of that entry-level helmet by making it with thermoplastic um, material uh, covered with a polyester resin. I'm not a helmet manufacturer myself, so I don't know too much about 
the what goes into the making of these helmets but I can say that it is fairly comparable to my Shoei RF 1200 in terms of like how like the build quality feels um, it's I don't know about you guys but I think this helmet is an absolutely stunning helmet it's matte finish along with these stripes just looks impeccable everything seems like it's built fairly well that doesn't seem cheap um, but I guess lastly we should probably go ahead and see what this helmet feels like on you you're gonna get a sneak peek at my quarantine haircut um, or should I say lack of a quarantine haircut but you can see I definitely need a haircut Okay, so first and foremost, you can most definitely tell that they do use pretty premium products in terms of the stitching and in terms of the padding on the inside. Um, I've never actually used a ratchet system. Let's see if I could get this. It might take up oh, there we go. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, I've never used a ratchet system as I said before. I found that relatively quick and it seems like you would just pull, yep, you pull that to get it off. Let's see if I could get it again. Yep. So it's pretty straightforward. As I said, in a Shoei RF 1200 I wear a medium. Quite frankly the medium is a little bit too tight, um, but this helmet in a large, I thought maybe a large because in my showy I'm a medium and it's tight. Uh, this actually seems a little bit big on me. You know, the, the typical helmet test to know if it's too tight on you is if it's pushing into your cheeks and you can bite your cheek. That said, you're supposed to go like this and if it shakes around, it's too big for you. So I would in fact say that the Spitfire Nero in a large um, is too big for me, I would probably drop down to a medium. But in terms of the actual build quality of the helmet, as I said, it feels pretty solid. For those of you that are wondering if you can wear glasses with it, let's see what we can do here. I just got these glasses, but um, it doesn't... Yeah, you can, you can pull off putting a thin wire glass, kind of like mine, in through there. Um, but I always personally actually ride with contacts anyways. Then, as I said, you do have the drop down kind of visor. Let's see if I could get it here. Where is it? Uh, oh, right here. There you go. So you actually push up to bring the visor down and then push down to bring it up. Pretty straightforward. As I said, it's, it's relatively easy to find if you kind of just trace back onto the helmet from the visor and then I do have the sticker on here still so I can't see you with it closed but it is uh, nice to have those three position features so one two and then three is fully up here's a side profile so you've got your command uh, system right here for the smart technology. I haven't played around with that yet, but I will do that uh, shortly in my next video. Stay tuned for that, and eventually I will link that above so you could click right from this video. So that pretty much concludes the unboxing for the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero. I think the design of this helmet is absolutely fantastic. I would probably rate this helmet in terms of design a 9.5 out of 10, if not a 10. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous helmet in terms of the matte finish and the build quality is pretty fantastic. I love, as I said, the stitching on the inside. Let's see if we could get a little closer up here. but. Stay tuned for further uploads on this helmet. I'm going to do some videos of me actually riding with it and ultimately at the end of this trial run with this helmet, I will give you guys my kind of impressions after riding my motorcycle wearing this helmet for 
a pretty good amount of time. I'm going to have this helmet for about 15 days until I have to send it back to Quinn Design. And then I'll hopefully get one of my own at some point. But uh, this is the Quinn Design Spitfire Nero, and it retails at $399. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below. I am happy to start some dialogue with you guys and answer any questions that you might have. Until next time, peace out and ride safe, Biker Bros.